Hold it up, hip hop, motherfucker, come on. I was shocked. There was so much cussing on here. This is the only program on the BT Hip Hop Awards so they can actually cuss and it's allowed and they let them. I just want to talk about, uh, you know, some things that stood out to me that I enjoyed. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to watch the Hip Hop Awards because I'm just not that big of a hip hop fan. Although I love hip hop, I'm just not that big of a fan of it. I'm more so um, an R&B head, R&B soul, pop head little pop but yeah but you know like I said I do love hip-hop but anyway I decided to watch the show and you know um at the end of the day I'm glad that I watched it I got my life on a couple of parts just a few now um because some parts is just child all these okay no flex sound no flex sound y'all know that song um he came out, him and the little guy, they look like the newer version of Criss Cross. One's light, one's dark, and they dress kind of um, differently. Um, I'm assuming they're from Atlanta or L.A. or Florida or something like that. Um, but, you know, I actually like the song. They brought up all their friends from their neighborhood up on the stage, and they was getting their life. They was getting it. I was like, okay, little boys, do your thing. But Chomi Kwan won an award looking like a sickly Lil Wayne just just um yeah I'm not a big fan of the people who get tattoos every damn where why would you get your whole just everywhere covered with tattoos I, I just don't think that's hot um the chains look like, look like they was bigger than he was just oh the tragic boots but um congratulations um to him for winning um the award whatever award that he won um the first cipher was big was with uh this Mexican guy and um he straight ripped it. I think it was some I think he broke his hand or fractured it or, or sprained his hand or his arm or whatever. And um he killed it, the Mexican guy. I liked his rap. Juicy J. Um I love Juicy J by the way. I'm strangely attracted to him for some reason. But um, you know, I enjoyed his part. I think Wiz Khalifa was on this as well and he just looked um like he hasn't eaten, but he's always looked like that. He had on these little tight pants. Just chill. Um, that's a whole nother thing. With this whole tight pants and like it's just like the colors and it's just um these are the some of the same people rappers are strongly offended when somebody accused them of being gay yet they dress like queens is what i don't get all these younger acts all these young hip-hop guys are very flamboyant with their clothing and it's just like honestly what you would have on is something somebody else will have on that is how you doing the house down so it's just like, but you don't want to be accused of that. But you have on pink tight pants, tighter than your girlfriend's. Like, does that make any sense to the people? We all are free. We love everybody. I'm do you. Individuality is key. But just know, with you dressing like this, you're going to get um, a lot of critiques and judgments. All right. It's not necessarily going to be what you were hoping for. But when you look, but if, if you do your research and look, you'd be like, oh. Well, I see why they're saying that, right? Right? Just something that I just think about. Thoughts of chalakiness. Yes. Chalaki memories. All right. Um, what about happened after that, y'all? Mm -mm, this right here is a lifestyle. Some other rapper. Um, hmm, now, the second cipher, this Latina girl. She straight ripped on Jocelyn Hernandez. It was a lot of references to Jocelyn. Like, I'm sure her Twitter followers increased even more. Because it was a lot of people that was just mentioning Jocelyn out of nowhere. It was just Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. You know, about her, the whole thing that was seen across the world, I'm sure. About her just straight acting like damn Sheba from the Mortal Kombat games. And just straight damn attack bitches. And so it was just, you know, really funny. She was just like, you know, our example of Latina rap or Latina female rap is Jocelyn Hernandez, the shade of the century. And she very kindly just walked right on back and just stood back in place while the other rapper came up. Um, during this second cypher, 
it was um I believe it was also um David Banner in it. And um the the beat just stopped and he just went on and rapped, you know, conscious rap. He looked like Farrakhan, Malcolm X, he was just doing his thing. And um then all of a sudden it cut to Common and Common performed. And, you know, it was cool. And then he brought out Mike Brown's parents. That was a very touching scene. I appreciated it, that they did that. Um, that was, you know, a very beautiful, beautiful scene. Beautiful moment. Um, what else happened after that? The third cypher was the young folks, the younger crowd, the younger rap, up-and-coming rappers. Um, but, of course, with the up-and-coming rappers, they always include, you know, known rappers. And uh, the very known rapper, young rapper, that was a part of this particular group was Lil Mama. And, you know, Lil Mama, she looked like she had on um, that outfit that Aaliyah had on in the back and forth video. Or At Your Best, one of those videos. It was very, what she had on was very 90s. It was very um, Lisa Left Eye and Aaliyah-esque, in my opinion. Am I the only one? Could be. I'm, I'm sure a lot of y'all caught that as well. Um, this girl, Detroit Chi. Is it Detroit Chi? I think it's Detroit Chi. But anyway, the girl with the braids, she straight murdered her verse. Her stage presence, her lyrics, like, um, no, I mean, just her presence alone. Her, her lyrics, her flow, her confidence. That bitch is bad. She's sickening. Shouts out to you, sister. She did her damn thing. Like, it was ill and it was so disrespectful. Low key, her and Lil Mama going together would be hot. I think um, one of my people said that on um, Facebook. It was just like, yes. I was just like, that would definitely be true if her and, um, her and Lil Mama battled or whatever. And so we get to Lil Mama. Lil Mama killed her verse. I've always been a fan of Lil Mama. I don't know why people are so hard on her. I mean, I do understand because of the whole you know, crashing of Jay-Z and Alicia Keys' performance way, way back in the day. But that shit is so old. But yeah, I think she definitely deserves a little bit of respect now. Because at the end of the day, she has loads of talent. She's shown that she can even act. We knew that she can rap. And, you know, she can dance as well. She's a dancer. So, you know, shouts out to Lil Mama while we're at it. How about that? We're being nice today. Child. Keisha Penitentiary Cole. Thanks to my girl Tam G, another vlogger. Um, and thanks to my girl Krishana from Facebook. Reality junkies, darling. Um, they uh, they told me that um actually at the same time, one on Twitter and one on Facebook that, you know, Keisha Cole had, had been too long gotten released from prison and they very much so popped her ass in the makeup chair and she went straight on to the awards. Cause I was just looking, Keisha was just looking so damn dazed and dazzled and just the looking around and it was just like, what the hell is going on with Keisha? And she's sitting here looking at the damn thing. Like she very much so looked like she didn't get her makeup finished. Her hair was, it was just Keish. Keish going through it. God bless Keish. And I hear that her um, show was coming back to BET, which is a good thing because we love it. We love, you know, all those kids. We love the sister. We love Frankie. Bad dog. We love all that. We love it. I might actually review it if it comes back to BET. Maybe. Um, speaking of new shows or shows coming, Nellyville getting ready to get a show. Damn Nelly. You know, country grandma getting ready to get a show on BET. I wonder how, I don't know. He's not that interesting, but I guess. Um, what else? For, who else getting the damn show? Oh, Michelle Williams and, um, the gospel guy from the Preachers of L.A., um, Deidre Cadden is getting a show as well. So, um, shouts out to both of them. It's going to be on Oxygen. Fix my choir. So, shouts out to little Michelle Williams. Get your coins, girl. Get your coins. Don't be getting out here getting pregnant like your sisters. Do you, girl. Um, Nia Long and Snoop Dogg. Little segments. You know, Nia Long, 
was every hood dude like dream back in the 90s. Like everybody loved Nia Long. She was just all, in all the good movies, all the good black movies. Um, and she was just you know, the sexy girl without actually being sexy. You know, she always kept the class about her. She was just a real pretty girl and just real, and she was just always smart and um, just a cool girl. It's very cool, down to earth, pretty girl next door. You know, everybody loved Nia Long. And those little scenes with Nia Long and Snoop, absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Snoop was a really good host, I was shocked. But he was a really good host. I wasn't that shocked because, you know, everybody likes Snoop, Uncle Snoop. But, you know, he was a really good host. Um, Dougie Fresh won the I Am Hip Hop Award. Um, very much so deserving. Um, when he got up there, he um, told the people that his mother passed away five weeks ago. So rest in peace to her. And, um, you know, he played um, a voice message, message that his mother left. And then he finished it with a rap. It was really nice. And him and Snoop got up there and they did that thing. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not the world's best entertainer. So there you go. That's all you're going to get from me. And, you know, it was just really cool and just really, really sweet and really nice. So shout, shout out to Dougie Fresh. I actually like him on um, Apollo Live, too. Y'all should watch it, Boots. Watch it, Boots. Down. Okay? Guys. Um, the fourth cypher. Now, this was with what a lot of people was waiting for, including myself, with Remy, or Remy Ma and her man Papoose. Now, what the hell he been doing all them years she been um, done been in the penitentiary? Now, they back together and all good. Mm-hmm. Been hitting some, but you ain't hear from me. Um, Remy looks good. Um, they did nice. I loved it when they was, like, going back and forth, naming, you know, beside every strong black man or strong man is a um strong woman and you know they was going back and forth with all the black couples that we know they mentioned um nick and mariah um which is a good one but um very much so <laughs> divorced boots committed in the process darling um they mentioned the crazy thing about it was that they mentioned kim and kanye um that that is not an example of a strong black couple when only one of them is black you know, like I, I know Kim, Kim Kardashian is not white, but she's not black. So, you know, I'm just saying. Don't come for me with that in the comments or whatever, but y'all know what the hell I'm saying. She, she's not like Will and Jada, yes. Bill and Camille, yes. Oh, what did she say? She said, damn, Biggie and Valletta or Valette. Who the hell is that? Don't tell me in the comments who the hell that is. I don't know no Valessas. I don't know who that is, but that was really nice. They 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 jammed and they got it on through. They kept showing um damn um Erica Mina and Bow Wow. Y'all know they're engaged or whatever. Maybe they're married or who gives a shit. Just like Bow Wow is just really just how you gonna go from Angela Simmons to Erica Mina? Now Erica Mina is a beautiful girl, but she's just batshit crazy bat shit crazy and does this mean that bow wow is going to appear on the next season of love and hip-hop new york who knows i heard he's not going to do it but i'm sure he you know of course he's going to do it Monet ain't going to let all you know everybody knows bow wow and Monet ain't going to let that you know that publicity go child please mona 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 um What's happening after that? Tiana Taylor as comes out. Is it just me? Or does Ta Tiana Taylor, her and Rihanna, it's so funny that, you know, they had a uh, they had a relationship at one point. Then, as y'all know, they had, uh, had a good falling out. But um, is it just me? Or does Tiana Taylor, like, is in a way trying to dress like Rihanna? Like in her new video, um, maybe I'm in love. Whatever that song, y'all know that song. I actually like it. But she's just giving me Rihanna tease, just with the blonde hair and then the red hair and then the black hair. It's just, and she has a similar body to Rihanna. It's just interesting. I always heard growing up, two people that's just alike ain't gonna get along anyway. Catch that tea. Child. The freaking 20 year reunion of I Wanna Be Down remix with Brandy, Yo Yo, MC Light, and Queen Latifah. Bitch. 
y'all just don't know how legendary this song is. I would like to get to know if I could be. Yes, we love Brandy. Um, every time I see Yo-Yo or hear people talk about Yo-Yo, I think about Key La La from Martin. Yes, that was her. Yes, God. Yes, God. We just, um, that was just a really, really good moment. That was a really, really big moment for hip-hop and R&B. Um, when, when uh, R&B artists, um, came and collaborated with such strong female hip-hop artists. That was a big thing, and that was a good look. You know, shouts out to all of them. They all look great. <laughs> Dustin Ross said, um, that Queen Latifah hair has been on point since living single, and it absolutely has. Queen Latifah always had beautiful hair. She's always gave the kids life, and so did my girlfriend, Kashana. Yes. All right. Um, Mimi on stage with damn Snoop. That was funny. Mimi is beautiful. She looked really, really gorgeous. And since we're talking about pretty women, pretty, pretty reality stars. Um, let's talk about Portia Williams. She looks great boots. Portia Williams is beautiful. You know, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Poor thing. Got knocked down to just a friend on the show. But um, at least she's still on the show. Apparently, Portia as wasn't acting right. And, you know, she wasn't cooperating with the Bravo people, darling. They said, bitch, you're knocked down to Marlo's level. Now get back. And apparently her and Kenya, um, I guess they tried to settle the hatchet between them. And they got into it a damn again. Well, she just can't be fighting bitches out with Lanilla. You got to know how to play the game. Kenya knows how to play the game, okay? He just, you know, read her and pay her dust like Phaedra ass do. That's all. But anyway, you know, like I said, Mimi looked great. Um, of course, Snoop references the whole sex tape with Mimi and Nico. He pulls out a shower rod and puts on a shower cap, and I fell the fuck out. Snoop is a damn fool. Like, it was just so funny. And um, they cut to a la the last scene with Nia Long and Snoop Dogg and them, you know, you know, him saying that he wanted to be in all her movies or whatever growing up. They cut to that scene and Snoop is looks ridiculous as a white man, just hideous boots. He looks very scary boots. Snoop scared the fuck out of me in that scary movie that he played in as that guy who was dead and came back to life. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't remember the name of it, but, you know, him just dressing up as something else really... Just kind of, was it Jimmy Bones? It was something like that, but it was scary books. Anyway, yes, you know, so I guess shouts out to Mimi, I guess, show A damn Jocelyn sitting there in the audience just looking like a damn Chester cat. I'm sure her and Stevie J was high on something, allegedly. Um, T.I. came out hopping around and, and rolling and shit, um, singing some song. He had some guy with him and a cape or some shit and ruffles and, and damn cowboy boots or something. I don't know. I, I love, you know, all these rappers. Well, no, I don't. I'm lying. Um, I'm more of a fan of, like, old school hip-hop, 90s hip-hop, a little 80s hip-hop. I'm only 25, so I don't know um, the core of you know, of everybody, I guess I should say. But I know most people, of course. Because, you know, I'm just a music head. I love music. It's what I want to do. It's just, yeah. But um, I'm also a fan of, you know, the 90s hip-hop, early 2000s hip-hop. Um, but these newer artists, it's just like everybody looks the same. Everybody dressed the same. Um, it's just, I only listen to the music that type of music is when I'm at the club, and it's not really my choice. It's just whatever the hell the DJ plays these days. And so I just get my life, and I love the music, like twerking and all that. And I love ratchet music, like at the club and all that, but I don't go out of my way and just like to listen to it when I'm not at the club, if that makes sense. When I'm at home, I would rather I would rather listen to um, some damn... I would rather, I would rather, when I'm at home, I would rather listen to 90s Jay-Z versus some rich homie Kwan or whatever. But that's just me. You know, everybody's different. I do like, you know, the music of today, but just not as much as, yeah, she's babbling boots. But y'all get what I'm trying to say. Um, Bobby Smurda ended the show. I don't, I'm sorry, people, I don't know who the hell he is. But um, I've heard the song before. 
like many folks. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and give my little review of love and love and hip hop. <laughs> um, the hip hop awards, um, twenty fourteen was a really really good show. I'm lying. It was parts of it that was good. It it was tolerable. I'll say that. I want just want to give a quick shout out to my loves, darling. And the reality. Junkies, this Facebook group that I'm in, great, great group. Um, to everybody who watched the show with me, um, Leonard, um, Shy, Mercedes, Krishana, David, Jay, DeAndre, Lauren, just everybody, all y'all. Um, with that said, I am Mr. Chilaki. I am Mr. Chilaki on Google Plus. Follow me. I am at It's King's World on Twitter, and I am Chase King's here on Facebook. Um, that was um, hip. The BT Hip Hop Awards 2014. Yes, God. This right here is a lifestyle.